string a wire between the two houses so you could telegraph to each other. You'll remember the Morse code. It's, it's something that we're very, very satisfied with. And Lars and I revel in the fact that, you know, now that it's done, we listen to it every day and, like, really get into it. And we're taking advantage of this because there will be a point in time where we'll be just sick of it and, like, won't want to hear it. Because that happens when you, when you tour behind an album and hear it day in, day out. Mm -hmm. I mean, playing, playing it, we're never sick of it because we're actually playing it and, like, getting into it. But listening to the album, you can get sick of it. But... But for right now, we're really, really into it and really loving it. So 120, 21. when he kicks in 121. I mean, a lot of people have come up to me and said, you know, this, this, the album sounds great, but you guys aren't playing fast anymore. And I, I tell them, you know, Everyone knows we can play fast. We've done that, you know, for like 10 years now. Uh, we want to show that we can do other things and still be, you know, just as heavy and have just as much energy and aggression. And we want to show people that there's a side of the band that a lot of people don't know where, uh, exists. And, and we want to show people that, that there's a side to us that, uh, that, that is able to play music that, uh, that, that interests us, you know, and... Uh, I mean, that's pretty much where we're at right now, these days. Moscow, we're having some fun today! But there's a certain musical chemistry there that, that we can't get with anyone else. And that's what brings us back together every time, time and again. And as long as that chemistry is there, and that spark, and that creative freshness and enthusiasm, I think there will always be a Metallica. And when we lose that, I think that, that's when everything's kind of like falls apart. But I, for that reason alone, I think Metallica's going to be around for at least the next 10 years, 10, 15 years. And there's a lot of a lot of life left in Metallica. I'm not sure if you're going to make <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. That's really amazing. That is totally amazing. Every time I pick up a guitar, I'm like writing for the band, you know, writing music for the band and trying to come up with ideas to make the band better. Um, do, you, do you want to be a rock star forever? Or do you want to just no, no, I, I would like to, to, uh, to actually, when I'm like 65 years old, I want to be in a bar somewhere playing cheesy jazz songs. <laughs> jazz. Jazz, yeah, I really like blues and jazz. And uh, jazz guitar is something that, that, that I'd like to be able to master one of these days. It's really, it's really not that, that easy. Mm -hmm. but, um, but, you know, I think I'll always want to like it, it's, go into a room and plug it into an amp and crank it way up because there's nothing like playing really loud by yourself in a room. If you had to choose between a woman and a guitar, which one would you choose? <laughs> well, you know, depends on how old what I was. You <laughs> but, you know, if I was like 75 years old... Like what you are now, <laughs> at the moment. Uh, the moment oh, that's a hard one, you know, because I love both. <laughs> That's a really hard decision. Mm -hmm. So why don't you ask me later on? <laughs> I'll, give you, I'll give you the answer later on. <laughs> so tell me Metallica kuulostaa.
vastaan. No aika vaikeita kamaa. Täällä on vähän tunkkane saudia silleen, mutta potentiaalia löytyy. Totta kai, metalli on kova. Ai niin kuin mitä on mieltä vai? Erittäin hyvältä kuulostaa. Mä en kulku se sinku. Se on semmos, kyllähän se on metallikai. Vaikka se onkin vähän poppiksempaa niin sanotusti. No ihan vaihe, vanha, vanha levy. Vaikuttaako sun mielipiteensä yhtään? Kun nehän on muuttanut vähän ulkomuotoa sitä saajan mittaa. Tavallaan niin silloin kun ne oli vanhempi, niin oli pitkemmät tukat, niin oli finne ja kaikkea tälle. Mut ne on niinku karaitunut sille, että tullut vanhemmaksi. Niin totta kai kun ne on niin vanhoja, niin totta kai se muuttaa ulkonäköä. Ei mikään ihme. Tämä on parasta, mitä mä ikinä kuulin. Mulla oli eilen, mulla oli hetki niin tänne näistä. Mä tsekkasin uutta rumbaa. Siis he, heti oli tämmönen leitto, mä heti vartin. Niin mulla on pakko saada tämmönen. Siis tää on, tää on niinku... Asiaa! Recycler, and uh, every week we, at least I would go right to the H part where you know would be heavy metal, and there was like two guys, me and him. So finally we kind of got together. <laughs> pretty drunk in this place called the Whiskey, and we heard this kind of guitar solo weird noise happening, and uh, we couldn't find the guitar player. There was just this bass player with his red mop kind of flipping around up there, and uh, we couldn't believe that that was bass. So uh, instantly we knew that kind of Cliff was a, a freak, so we needed to get him. Well, what happened after Cliff's accident that we obviously had to... Uh, you know, get a new bass player together, and we got this uh, energy bomb of a person named Jason Dustin. tension you know with when you're in a creative situation or everybody has different ideas and so on but I think that you understand that these guys are like family well it took about a year out of our lives to put this whole thing together um, after we got together the 12 songs we knew that we had something special there's a certain musical chemistry there that, that we can't get with anyone else. And that's what brings us back together every time, time and again. And as long as that chemistry is there, and that spark, and that creative freshness and enthusiasm, I think there will always be a Metallica. And when we lose that, I think that, that's when everything's kind of like falls apart. But I, for, for that reason alone, I think Metallica is going to be around for at least the next 10 years, 10, 15 years. And there's a lot of, a lot of life left in Metallica. I 
I feel great about making videos now. I hate making videos. <laughs> They're boring as shit. But at the in the end run, you you kind of see why, you know, you had to stand there for three hours in the same spot. <laughs>